to uh, work in the IoT field, they need to be multidisciplinary. That is very, very important. A software engineer alone or an electronic or a mechanical engineer alone cannot do as much with IoT as an aggregation of these technologies can deliver. So I myself, uh, I'm a software engineer or a VoIP engineer and my uh, former colleague Deepa Kagri, who, is, who jointly owns the project, is uh, an electrical and embedded engineer. We both had to contribute our 100% to make this happen. So they need to be open to new technologies. There's plenty of it coming on the way. There's uh, Bluetooth Low Energy, there is uh, LoRa, there's Zigbee. Uh, there are a lot of uh, SOCs and uh, SOCs such as Raspberry Pi, Arduinos coming up, Intel boards, the, the more like that. Our Raspberry and Arduino are just the famous ones. Uh, there's Banana Pi, there's so many RPi Compute, there's so many aspects to IoT. So they need to be aware. Uh, open to learning and uh, upgrade, updating because IoT is very fast. It's evolving at uh, an exponential rate. What was uh, up three months back is probably not that great now and something else has taken its place.